Hi, I'm the waiting room fish. I'm here to help everybody. Can I make an appointment for Rory to see the doctor, please? Young deaf people can make their own appointments if you have an online or text booking system. Hello, can I help you? I'm Rory. I'm deaf. I need to see number two, Nick Green. Oh, you're deaf. Sorry, can I help you? Don't shout. Just speak clearly and normally. Rory? 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 No, I'm not Rory. Are you? I'm not Rory. Are you Rory? I'm not Rory. Are you Rory? Yes, I'm Rory. I'm deaf. Deaf people might miss their call. Make yourself seen or use a visual calling system. Get a display! What seems to be the problem? I had the, this teapot stuck on my hand. Tell me if this hurts. While focusing on procedures, don't forget deaf awareness. Does your patient understand what's going on? Keep very still, please. Hmm, there are bones inside the teapot. I'll need a closer look. He's deaf! He needs the lights on to lip read! In simple terms, what I'm going to do to you is perform a radical teapot ectomy by lubricating with an organic compound and applying an increased intentional force with a rotational leverage. Try and use simple language. You could even draw or write. If they don't understand, make a new appointment with an interpreter present. Basically, I'm just going to put some oil on it and then pull it off. <laughs> Deaf people use a mixture of hearing, lip reading and signing. Ask them how they want to communicate and keep checking they understand. Take a step back and ask yourself if they're getting the same level of care as other patients. And get some deaf awareness training! Oh. Stupid teapot! Wow, 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 wow,